like, go hide. Nothing wrong with going to Yale. Nothing wrong with going to different schools. Leave Maryland. You feel me? I'm sure the moment your mom, when you tell your mother, mom, I got a scholarship to a school in South Carolina, she gonna say, you gone. Whether you like it or not. You get away from here, mama gonna be out of it, but you gone. You know what I'm saying? So make that your goal to, to be better, be different. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage of every opportunity that's given. To be honest, when you select you, you gotta take advantage. You know Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good talking to you all. All right. Yeah, 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 we saw you guys wait room, but oh, yeah. Carver's wait room is a little different. <laughs> oh yeah. Well that's yeah. everywhere though. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like yeah. Like that. yeah. What high school did you go to? I went to a Rondo high school. Okay. Well I uh I lived around the in the projects, right. Gilmore. And when I was around sixth, seventh grade. My mother said enough is enough. So I was commuting from Baltimore to the county mm. to get the opportunity. Then my mother finally moved out there and I moved with her. Right. And I still had family back in Baltimore. And uh, you know, I did, a, I did a lot of good things and stuff like that. But one thing I did was I changed, you know what I mean? My whole mindset, you know what I'm saying? Of everything I did. And got to high school, the great school. I finished with like, a. 3-1 overall GPA. Mm -hmm. So that GPA and that SAT mm -hmm. stuff, that's mm -hmm. serious. That's some serious stuff. Mm -hmm. So y'all thinking that like, I'm a freshman. I was late. I, when I was a freshman, I messed up my grades too. I had to dig myself out of the hole. Mm -hmm. God willing, I was able to do that. But don't do that. Get good grades, you know what I'm saying? Because from your freshman year up until your senior year, them grades matter. I've seen a lot of dudes cry because, you know what I'm saying, Coaches say, you know, I can't do it. I can't do the scholarship. In fact, I had two coaches tell me that. And I was already sitting on something. You know what I'm saying? And coach from Elon told me, and Elon's a school, not really they coming up in the athletic world. But he told me, he said, your grades, your grades are good and you're a great player, but I can't get you in here. You need a 3-6. I had a 3-1. Mm. And 3-1 is That's good. That's good. Right. That's right. out of the coach's hand. Like, right. he can't, they can't do anything about yeah. it. That's the school. We're, right. And we're looking here at Towson, especially, we're looking for an upward climb with your grades. It's right. okay. Like you said, you messed up freshman year. That's okay. We're looking to see that you're, you're taking that upward climb, and especially your senior year. Do not slack off. Mm. If you can... If you're supposed to take a study hall, find an elective course that fits in there. Mm -hmm. you, they want to see extra maths, extra Englishes, mm -hmm. foreign languages, you know. Then we want to see that you're in the classroom trying, that you're not taking those study halls. And we want to see an upward climb of your, your grades and your GPA. Awesome. So that means each year your grades should rise, yeah. you know, until senior year, like three, three something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't let the semester grades, who got them? You got four semesters in high school. Mm -hmm. Don't get a two six first semester, two one second semester, and you get a three one. Okay, you had a three one, but realize like they all calculate to right. one GPA. And they can see all that. They can, they see, can all see every that. semester. And then they're going to come, they're going to talk to your teachers too. So if you've been a knucklehead in class, or they talk to the teachers. Because I had a lot of coaches talk to some teachers that I was in middle school teachers. <laughs> <laughs> You never know who you know. You never know the people you're teaching from. You know what I'm saying? Your teacher's cousin could be a defensive coach right. and a school that's recruiting, right? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People don't forget faces. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't slack up. Be respectful to everybody. The same way you showing me the same respect. And Mr. Gang, you gotta show it to everybody. Because you never know. Like, you know, man, I'm going to call you out right now because this is how I'm supposed to do it. When you slosh back on the wall, and when you slosh back on the wall, you never know what one of my coaches would come across there. You know what I'm saying? You never know that. You know what I'm saying? The way that's on your head like that. It's the little thing. You know what I'm saying? On your head while you're in the building. Hats on in the building. We take that very seriously. We get 5 a.m. for hats being in the building. I'm telling you that because stuff like that, that's a small that's thing. A small thing, but it adds up. It adds up because it's what makes you different. You know what I'm saying? So we never know. And Coach Ambrose, of course, have my teachers when they walk in here, mm. and they know exactly who you are. You never know if they know who you are, but you got to be loving yourself a poem everywhere you go. That means in the neighborhood, community, everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you that because people told me that. I was the same way. I was in Nipple here. I probably got about 100 referrals, 6th and 7th, 8th grade, all together. Mm. Just spent about 10 times. 
You know what I'm saying? My mother was hard on me too. So that just showed that I was being hard hit until something really woke me up. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely gotta get out of the same. Please don't waste it. Please. We don't need no more little schoolers <laughs> happening out here. I'm, as far as as far as the stuff that he was involved in, you know what I'm saying? Because we we old enough to know that y'all may have seen the rap part, but it's more to the story. Please don't let your mother bury the child. I'm gonna be honest with you. I buried my brother and my sister. Mm -hmm. You don't want, we don't need to see the mother crying like that. I just seen it happen too many times with friends. You gotta, you have to understand there's a time to, there's a time to do everything. And now the time we are in ninth, 10th grade to get y'all lives together. Cause you got two more years to get this scholarship and get an opportunity at college. I'm not saying even if you don't, you're gonna have opportunity, but make it easy on yourself. Get out while you can. You know what I'm saying? So, what's up? Thank you. No problem. Where are we headed at, Mr. Jake? Where are we headed right to the right here. Uh, so, we're going to talk about the sports medicine real quick and I'll be headed okay. to the house secure reading. I'll be keeping in contact with you, all right? All right. All right. All right. How are you doing? Thank you. 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 There's, an, there's another separate one uh, at the field house by the stadium. So this is mainly usually like basketball, uh, soccer, things like that. But there are taping tables, uh, cold plunge. Uh, there's also like treatment tables, ultrasound, east end, all that good stuff. Doctor, doctor clinic in there. So uh, but when we'll go to the field house, we'll, we'll see the one that you guys will use. So awesome. And then do you guys have an athletic trainer at your high school? No after trainer. Okay, so we do have those uh after trainers here, certified versus after trainers. I don't know football has about two, three, three, four after trainers, uh four fifteen. And then we also have an aspect training program. I'm part of it and we have about like six students for the football. So sports medicine side is really really nice. Hey guys, I know that Towson sometimes has a, a reputation of being can sometimes be in. Just so you know, we have in the last, since I've been working here, I've worked here nine years, we've turned two football players over to the NFL. Iman Bosharad and Terrence West. What about, uh, it's, it's another guy that's in the NFL from you guys. Uh, yes, and I can't ever think of him. He uh, just got, um, Ryan, is it Ryan uh, Dell? Oh, is it? He just got drafted, I think, not this past. Was it this past yeah, before, before last. Or something yeah. Like that. I can get his name, but yeah, he played. I can too. He played defensive end yeah. for, uh, for the Panthers. I don't have to pay you, pay Pay man. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Got the unknown. I will. I will have a meaty neck. <laughs> Spirit, endurance, unity, confidence, perseverance, effort, commitment, ambition. Okay. Teamwork, honor, enthusiasm, passion, strength, persistence, work, unyielding, focus, integrity, action. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you sure we all can fit on here? Oh, this is 28. Let, let us know. I got meaty neck behind me. Oh, no, weight limit. <laughs> <laughs> you got that bump. I ain't got that bump. I'm about seven pounds. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Mo. <laughs> We headed into the basketball arena. You guys want to get a photo? Yeah, sure, that'd be awesome. Right, so this is oh, wow. the arena, about 5,200 seats. Uh, yeah, brand basketball new. arena, brand new. Towson University. Wow. Seats, retractable seats. Yeah, they got that. Seats. I 
Yeah, they bring these bleachers down, and there's more bleachers here, and it's just this main court with the black. But, uh, oh, there's like, they have either put them in a different way, but there's like the other uh, gym. The other gym, they practice here, but these are where all the games occur. Sometimes they practice here as well. This is brand new, brand yes. new. When, when was this built? What year? 13. Wasn't it like, what, two or three years ago? 2013, it opened in the fall. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat in them, in them seats over there. <laughs> Look how they feel. What's that? <laughs> v they VIP seats. <laughs> Got the leather interior jumping off. <laughs> Love, level. Yeah. Go ahead and have a seat. Can you imagine fans watching you play? <laughs> Kion, you got a basketball game? You got any skills? Yeah. <laughs> everybody say that with that. I don't care, yeah, but everybody <laughs> You mean it, you got basketball skills? All right, we're going to have to see. All the games are free. You just got to show up with your student ID card. Oh, wow. Here. If you want to bring a friend from like another university, then you can buy a ticket for them. But all the games for any sports free for Towson students. Boxes boxes up there. Up there. VIP box. So there's the president's box. Okay. CQ has a box. Right. Um, and then CQ has that big box, and then this is right. the president's box. Right. Awesome. I've been to a game or two here. <laughs> I came to my grant graduation. Oh yeah. Football field was nice too. You guys see the football field? We're, we'll be, we're we'll headed over there. there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's what they want to see. <laughs> Ain't that right, Ammo? Yeah. Oh, What you think, Damien? <laughs> hey. About their life, about their football life. All right, everybody's good. Stop's gonna be Johnny United Stadium. Johnny United Stadium next stop. Here we go. <laughs> right, it's so yeah. You can see the sign, United Stadium across there. Yeah, so we're gonna right. here. Johnny United Stadium. Here we go. Down, 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 down. You guys all know who Johnny Unitas is? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if y'all don't know who Johnny Unitas is, we're going to have to talk to y'all about football, man. Can't play in the league. It's the and, yeah. He's the guy. They got a statue of him right outside Raven Stadium. Johnny U and Ray Lewis. Hey, Javon, who did Johnny Unitas play for? His son. What? He was actually next to the son. What? With Kion. Who did he play for? Baltimore Colts. There you go. There you go. All right. I was just playing. No, you were. You want to see if he knew. Say you were playing. All right. You see if he knew. Right. You got to know your Hall of Famers, man. What is that football team called? Well, they call Carolina. Yeah, Panthers. Panthers, right? Uh -huh. That's the Cam Newton team. Yeah, uh-huh. Cam's team. Hey, Damo, let me see you dab on him. Okay, all right. John United Stadium. Towson University. Press the box. You might have to turn the little knob. Are we in there? <laughs> we got the whole stadium to ourselves. Right. Just right. Here. 